See, I have like a little um, canopy thing that I can open up. I just heard one of them wasps. Uh, a little bird put a bunch of grass and stuff in there, and she's got some eggs in there she's sitting on. I can actually see her right now. I could reach out and grab her, but uh, obviously I'm not going to tamper with her. But uh, pretty cool. Hey guys, uh, yesterday I had a pretty long day, I left the house at like 6.30 in the morning, uh, got home at like 10 o'clock at night, uh, spent the whole day out in junkyards, which isn't a bad day for me, but um, a buddy of mine needed some parts for a Ford, typical, and uh, he uh, asked me to tag along for the ride, give him a hem, uh, we pulled a transmission out of a Ford, He's actually building a truck, is what he's doing, but um, he's building a one-ton truck. So we went and pulled a transmission, a good transmission, out of a truck. Uh, we pulled the front four-wheel drive hubs off and um, something else, too. I can't recall. Anyway, uh, it took most of the day uh, to do that. Oh, we needed, a, we needed inside door panels and a dash cap. So, or a dash itself, so, uh, we couldn't really find a dash because all of them that he was looking for in the color were kind of cracked or broken. But, uh, he did get some good door panels, so that's cool. Anyway, uh, this was a paid gig, but, uh, you know, I don't mind trading either. So, he had some, he has some stuff that I want so we're just gonna kind of figure up the prices on that stuff and then we're just gonna trade for that and uh, I'll be doing more work with him because uh, he's got to get this truck built so I figure I'll probably help him out and uh, it's gonna help me out too so uh, the guy's a Ford guy but he does have some Chevy parts he's a mechanic and he's been wrenching for a long time so he's got a 292 Chevy motor which is the big inline six motor for Chevrolet and uh it's a really cool motor and one that I've been chasing for a long time, so uh, it's not in the greatest condition, but it's a good motor, so uh, I'm going to get that. And he's also got a whole bunch of Volkswagen, spare Volkswagen parts. Um, what he has is actually for a bug, but uh, that's cool. Uh, here lately I've been really getting kind of obsessed with Volkswagen, and um, I blame Brett and Deborah for that, but... Uh, lately I've I think it's honestly because I've had such a hard time with this bus and I've had to do a lot of research and I've just figured out a lot of cool stuff about Volkswagen and whatnot but anyway uh, Volkswagen's been pretty cool and uh, I got a good chance to get a motor and uh, most of the components that come with the motor uh, I don't really know the condition of them but it's a lot of cool parts anyway so that's what I did I basically traded my labor for some of those parts and uh I'll have more labor to give for them later. Uh, he would have let me bring all the parts home last night, but I didn't really want to load up a... We had already been, had a long day, so another day I will go fetch those parts for my labors. Uh, I did get myself some stuff because we were already at a junkyard. I needed a tire for the 84 Chevy. Um, the front wheel on that sucker, I don't know if y'all remember, I blew out the tire right when I pulled in the driveway. So uh, I either had to use one of my spare tires and pay $11 to have it put on the rim just so I could drive it up the hill up there. Or I got another tire and a, at the junkyard it's a steel wheel. I paid $10 for the rim and the tire. So uh, it's just going to go on that truck long enough to drive up there. And then, uh, yeah, so that's one thing I got. I really needed that. Get this thing out of my yard a little bit. So I probably should clean it out while I still have it back here. But uh, anyway, all right, let's see what else I got. As we were sitting there checking out, they bring in this old Volkswagen pickup. And uh, it wasn't like old, old. It was like 80s, late 70s, 80s or something. It wasn't very cool. But the tailgate was cool. And uh, I honestly overpaid for it. I was hoping to give about 20 bucks for it, and it costed me $35. But I knew if I did not leave with this thing, I was going to hate myself for it. So, uh, it's a pretty cool tailgate. Pretty good condition, but anyway. Uh, I'm going to make a bench out of this thing. 
and I'm gonna get a Chevrolet one too uh, off of a small Chevrolet truck like a S10 truck so I'll be keeping an eye out for that but I'm gonna make a Volkswagen bench and a Chevy bench so that'd be pretty cool so stay tuned for that all right guys well one more thing that I got and I'm gonna have to go inside to show you all so hang tight hey dear puppy hi baby Today you gotta show them what I got yesterday. I didn't really have the money to be spending on something like this, but man, I've needed a pool box for so long. All right, guys, here's the next thing I picked up. So it's five drawer tool chest. I've already started loading it up. I, uh, I've been really needing a toolbox for a long time and I've had little toolboxes like this and like little plastic toolboxes and stuff like that but I've uh, I've always rented and stuff like that and moving one of these toolboxes is a pain and I've just never uh, I've had some other ones but never a really nice one so this is a pretty nice box I um I really needed it I've been trying to find one on resale for a while and uh, they're just kind of hard to find because people don't want to give them up. Anyway, uh, I got this at Home Depot. I paid $139 for it. Um, a subscriber had sent me a, a gift card a while back. And um, it was actually going to be used uh, for a project on the back porch. was the original intention. But um, I had it with me and I was at Home Depot. And... Uh, Spending eighty dollars for this box uh, was a lot more doable, and uh, that's the only reason I talked myself into it. So I appreciate you, Greg, for um, for the gift card. I know I've thanked you before, but uh, this is what it got me. Uh, it's gonna be very well used for a long time. So, anyways, guys, I um I have one more thing that I need to do, and uh, let's get the tools out of my shed. So, right here I have a little shed that is just pl piled plumb to the roof with junk. And I'm not even kidding when I say the very two bottom boxes are tools. So, that's not really the hard part is digging it out. The hard part is that there's about three wasp nests as big as my hand right inside the door. So, uh... I've already waged war against them once. Well, y'all can't see it. I ain't getting stung, so I'm sorry. I was going to show y'all. But, uh,. Whenever I open that door all the way up, I need to have a spray in my hand and not a camera. All right, here's the deal. I'll set up my tripod and I'll show y'all me fighting the wash. That way if I'm stung, it's at least uh, on video. I literally just got stung last week. I don't know if you can see this ball on my hand, but I just got stung last week and my hand was completely swollen. I couldn't even see my knuckles for four days, so. Uh, it wasn't my wasp that got me, it was actually my neighbor's over at his house. I would be doing this at night, but I really, really want my tools out of there. I'm going to give it a whirl, and when it gets hairy, I'll cut it out. I'm not looking forward to this. This doesn't spray a large fan, it's just a direct shot, so I've got to hit them and then... Alright, I'll quit talking about it. Fine. Mm. Boy. One escaped. I'm going to let him calm down for a second and then I'll uh, get you guys back for round two.
All right, guys. Well, there's three nests at least inside of there. And I've been seeing a lot of wasps fly out, and I only hit one of the, maybe two of the nests. So I know that there's other wasps I didn't hit, but I don't know how much this PB Blaster is actually doing to them. It's, it's really oily stuff, so I figured that it would put a heavy coat on them and knock them down, but I sprayed one that came out with it, and it didn't die, so I don't know if this is worse or better. But I'm going to try one more time, I think. This could be bad. Well, there's one right there, so let's test him. Yeah, he flew away. We better find a stronger chemical, guys. I'll be back in just a minute. Alright, guys, now that I have severely pissed off all the wasps inside that building, I found some chemical that might actually work. This is starting fluid. I don't have any brake clean. Brake clean would probably be the best. Hey, I just found a bird nest. Anyway, I'll show you all in a minute. Right now, I'm going to piss off some more wasps. Don't touch my finger. He didn't get me, but he did touch my finger. But oh my goodness, I think that must have put a hurt on him. I just threw a huge fan at him and just kept it on there. I didn't actually see any on the first nest that I sprayed once I opened the door, so maybe it actually did get him, but I don't know. Man, these suckers hurt so bad, dude. Yeah, that's not killing them either. Alright, I'm going inside. What I really need is some brake clean, but I don't think I have any brake clean. That stuff. Man. That stuff will kill anything. Well, I'm done fighting wasps for the moment. Uh, I reckon I'm going to go to town and get some actual wasp spray, because I would continue this battle with my resources that I have but uh, the neighbors got some wasps over there which are the ones that stung me and I told her I'd take care of them for her so I better go get some spray that's actually made for wasps and that should help me you know and then tonight which I will not be able to bring you all along for in the dark when they can't fly as well I will uh I'll spray them then, and then I'll go over to the neighbor's house and spray those, because I've already, I've already been committed. Um, yeah. This is a random video. Alright, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I love y'all. I'm going to take the puppy to town with me to get, uh, to get wasp spray. The reason I tucked myself into this is because I want a soda. So really, I'm going after a soda, but while I'm there, I'm going to get wasp spray. That way I can say, well, I came for wasp spray. All right? See you guys.